welcome to The Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today for a program series, Memorable Moments. In over 25 years of broadcasting and over 500 episodes, we would like to share with you some of the special moments which have been our joy to experience. Thank you for joining us. There was never a more moving story of an animal than Wee Dog Bobby in Edinburgh, Scotland. Here in the Greyfriars Kirk Cemetery is buried a man called John Gray. It's a very interesting story of a man and his Wee Dog Bobby. And I've asked our wonderful tour guide here in Edinburgh, Ken Hanley, to tell the story of this Wee Dog Bobby, a story of faithfulness and loyalty that's a lesson to us all. Well, uh, the story goes back to 19th century Edinburgh, and uh, in particular the grass market area. And Jock Gray, or Old Jock as he was known, was a local policeman there. Rather sadly, Jock died, and uh, his uh, favourite companion, Bobby, followed him to the grave on the day of his burial. And for 12 years thereafter, uh, actually came and lay by the grave uh, of Jock Gray uh, until Bobby himself actually died. He came every night to every, his master's grave? Yeah, every night, no matter who looked after him. For instance, in the old time when the one o'clock gun was fired from the castle, that was a sign for Bobby to be fed at Mr. Trails. He had other places to go, uh, but always returning to his master uh, at evening time. And I believe you said something about the Queen, thought that this kind of loyalty uh, should be honored. Yeah, very much so. Uh, Queen Victoria had heard that uh, Bobby was going to be destroyed because he didn't have a master. And uh, uh, Queen Victoria intervened and uh, said that uh, loyalty like that should be rewarded. And uh, wee Bobby was actually made a freeman of the city of Edinburgh. Thank you for telling us that story. My pleasure.
Juneau, Alaska, we found a most amazing organ in an unusual place, the lobby of the State House. I'm standing here at the wharf in Juneau at the statue of the dog Patsy Ann. Patsy Ann was a bull terrier who was born in Portland, Oregon in 1929 and came to Juneau as a pup. Because of her unerring sense of the imminent arrival of all of the ships, she was dubbed by the mayor in 1934, the official greeter of Juneau. Patsy Ann was stone deaf, but somehow she could hear the whistle of the ships even before they were in sight. She would trot down to the wharf and greet the visitors warmly. After her death, the friends of Patsy Ann commissioned a statue of the official greeter of Juneau, Patsy Ann. Also in Alaska are other animals, great whales and sea creatures, sometimes riding the waves or floating on chunks of ice. Other memorable moments of the joy of music come from our visit to famous zoos. In Innsbruck, Austria, we visited the Alpen Zoo. People, colorful buildings, and churches are not the only interesting elements in Tyrol. There are animals as well. Located on a mountainside overlooking Innsbruck, 
is the Alpen Zoo, featuring animals of the Alpine region found in their own habitat. This zoo is unique in all of Europe. Let's take a visit to this fascinating place. On the joy of music, we really don't believe in singing dogs, but I did have one that came close to it. Her name was Shanti, which means little singer in French. Shanti is a little Maltese who from a young age would often sing at home whenever she heard music. So I decided to present her in concert. As with most performers, she had some stage fright in the first appearance, but the second year, she really howled for the audience. But you know, she didn't sing, but she did do what only an organist dog would do, and that is get on the pedals. So I think we better say goodbye to Shanti 
and hope that next year she'll do a little better. But we're going to try one more time. And uh, if she doesn't sing this time, no more concerts for this dog. Bern, Switzerland is famous for many things. It's covered shopping streets, alpine vistas, the unique town clock and buildings, and of course, its amazing cathedral. But it is also famous for its bear pit. In 1191, Duke Berthold V founded the city of Bern. The legend goes that the Duke said the first animal he hunted and killed, he would name the city after. And the first animal he found and killed was a bear. So the symbol of Bern, Switzerland, became the bear. And the city has a bear pit for people from all over the world, as well as people from Bern, to come and visit and feed the bears. Let's have a look at the bears, because come rain or come shine or come snow, the bears are always in the pit.
From a program entitled A Musical Visit to Louisville, we took a ride on the Belle of Louisville steamboat, followed by a visit to the zoo. We not only saw some fascinating animals, we rode some. A favorite attraction of both adults and children is the Louisville Zoo. The zoo is located on 73 rolling acres in the heart of Louisville. It exhibits more than 1,300 animals in an open, naturalistic environment. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program in the series, Memorable Moments of the Joy of Music. We thank God for giving us the opportunity to make over 500 programs in 25 years from around the world. We hope you have been blessed and enriched by the program today, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.
To purchase this or any of our over 500 DVDs and CDs, please call 1-800-933-4844 or check our website at www.thejoyofmusic.org.